Now we're going to look at the concept of the center, which is also referred to as the Dantian or the Hara. And it's typically located in the abdominal area. And we're going to use that concept of a center located in the abdominal area. And it's often referred to as the source of life or life energy, sense of being as well. And from this life energy or heart or center, there becomes a flow of movement, a flow of energy. People meditate from the center. People move from the center. And people also connect from the center as well. So this is why it does have that concept of life or life energy to it. So the way that we're going to learn about the center, what it is, how it, it can work, and also how we can use it is through the breathing process. So we're going to start with an idea of a chest breath, a normal chest breath. When we inhale, there's an expansion when we exhale, there's usually a relaxation and a contraction. So when we do chest breathing, our chest expands and the muscles that create the chest breathing are usually associated with the upper arm, the neck, the shoulder, the upper chest muscles are also involved in this inhale expansion process of chest breathing. If we do a deep chest breath, we feel the chest expand and we can also feel these outer body muscles that are almost like a cape covering our shoulders. We can feel them contracting. So again, do a chest breath. You feel the chest expand and if you hold it, you can feel these muscles tightening up. Actually, you put your hand on your chest and your hand moves because the chest expand. Abdominal breathing, and there's many types of abdominal breathing, we're going to use this type for our example, is the abdomen expands to make the inhale. So we're going to visualize that we're going to inhale through our belly button area. So if we put our hands over our belly button area and visualize we breathe in through it, we go like and you expand your abdomen. So try it again. You, you're going to expand your abdomen to inhale through your belly button area. And you feel your hands expand as the abdomen expands. And naturally, you take an in-breath. And that is a type of abdominal breathing. So if we put a hand on the chest and a hand on the abdomen, so if we do... The chest breathing, the chest hand moves and the abdominal hand doesn't move. So a chest breath and the chest hand moves, the abdominal hand stays still. And we do an abdominal breath, expand the abdomen, and the abdomen hand moves and the chest hand stays still. So now we can also do both at once. So we do a chest and an abdominal breath at the same time and it's... Both hands move and you actually feel your body swell up like it's a balloon, at least the upper part of, part of the body. That's a chest breath and an abdominal type of breath. Now we're going to locate the center within our abdomen. And for our purposes here, we're going to define that center as a void. It's a void with a potential to open and as it opens, it's going to suck air into it. And that opening and the air sucking in is our inhale. So naturally as the air goes in, the void will open even more. And that is the expansion movement of the inhale. So you notice we're not talking about muscles moving here. We're talking about a visualization process of a void expansion. So... We're going to put our hands in front of our abdomen, clench them shut, and pretend this is the void that's within our abdomen. And as we open it and 
open it sharply, it's going to draw air into it. So open your mouth and open that void and you just took an in-breath without using any of the typical muscle contractions. So again, hold your hands clenched, open your mouth and open the void within your abdomen and you take an inhale. It's an inhale breath and you noticed your body expanded just like it does for all of the other inhales but there just wasn't a muscular contraction movement so to speak. So one more time we create the void and open it and we inhale and in nature we see this inhale expansion movement when we get scared. It's called the startle response. So when we get scared or startled we jump or we move if we touch something hot, right? We move quickly. So if we're jumping back because somebody just scared us, right? You'll notice that you go and you jump backwards or you move backwards. Your body expands, right? And it's on an inhale right from this void or center area that we just developed or just experienced.